Right, let's have a look at this SPP 2023 paper one. I think this is a question for the permutation and combination. So this is just a three mark question. Yeah, but a lot of students uh, ask me about this question and feedback to me even they have the marking scheme, but they still rather understand it. So I decided to make a short video to explain about this. Right, so the first idea is um, they actually show a route for an object. So the object can only move up or to the right. So basically can only to the right or move up. And then they ask us to find the number of routes for the object to move from point A to point B. All right, so in order to understand the logic of this one, first thing is you need to know basically we have like some right, one, two, three, four, and then some up, and then some right, and some up also. So eventually I must reach the B. La. But here I will split them into two different parts. This is a part one, this is a second part. Okay, uh, later I'll explain why I will split them. So basically, in order to split them, right, I'm going to give the center here a coordinate, maybe an M here. So right now, I want you to imagine if you want to from the point A go to the point M, basically how you can move. So no matter which path you choose, right, you confirm you always have four right and two up. Okay, you might say, so what if I choose the path like this? One, two, three, four, five, six. See how many right I have? One, two, three, four. How many up I have? One, two. Do you see? Always is four right and two up. You might say, sir, what if I go another path? Is it always the same? Yes. So you can see, let's say I choose the path like this. You can see, one right, two right, three right, four right. One up, two up. Is it two up and four right? Yes, right. So therefore, what I understand now is, I have the six choice here because I need six steps from point A to the point M. And among these six steps here, I can only go four right and two up. So I can simply put my up here and then the rest must be the right. Okay, there's two way of calculate this one. Okay, but I will prefer you think like this because six of the up and right, you can simply swap place among themselves cos 6 factorial. But you have 4 R actually repeating, right? So divide 4 factorial. And then you have 2 U are repeating, right? Divide 2 factorial. Then we're done. Okay, so this one you can quickly type the calculator. I think the calculator will tell you the answer will be 15. Okay, what is another way is if you understand the logic, right? I can think something like this. I have six of them. I will choose four right to put at any of the space here. Is it called six C4? Then you might ask, sir, then how about up? Because if after I put the four right, right, then the rest of the place must be up. So this one is also giving you 60. And then you might ask, sir, what if I, I don't want to choose the right six here I choose two up, can or not? Yes, you can see if you choose two up, you type six C two in your calculator, you also getting fifteen. So no matter which one, which method you choose, you always getting fifteen. But I think the first method maybe make more sense to most of the student. Yeah. So if the six C four or six C two uh, is doesn't make sense to you, then you no need to choose this one. Because the idea is like this: if I choose four R, I simply put no matter where where I put my R. The remaining place it confirms with you. So I just need to think about uh, 6 choose 4 R or 6 choose 2 U. The rest of the place will be R. Okay, then the second journey is from M to the B here. Definitely I have 7 steps, right? What, uh, 4 right and 3 up. So no matter which path I choose, I always have 4 right and 3 up. So you imagine. I can fill up the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I simply put my up, lah, maybe my two up here and one up over here. So the rest of the place, I'm going to put the right in there. Then if I want to arrange all the seven of them, seven factorial, but I have four out, right? So four factorial or three factorial. 
because I got three U in it repeating, right? Then you can quickly type this one into your calculator. Your calculator should tell you it's 35. Okay, or you can use this method if you want. So like seven, uh, if I choose, I have seven of them total. Let's say I choose four out, seven C4. Yeah, if you type in the calculator, I believe the calculator also telling you 35. Or you can say, oh, sir, I don't want to choose R, I want to choose U. So you can do 7C3. I believe you also getting 35. Okay, so any of these will give you 35. Okay, this depends which method you like. Now, the problem, next problem will be, should I multiply my answer or should I plus my answer? So over here, you need to understand, multiply basically means N. And plus basically means or. So right now you want to go for, from A to B, you need first journey and second journey, isn't it? You are not wanting like first journey or second journey, isn't it? So you will do multiply. So you do 35 multiply 15 to get your final result. Lah. So 35 multiply 15. So the final result should be 525. All right, I hope this short video uh, make some sense to you and help you to understand how to solve this kind of question in the future. So I also offer two different methods. I hope you find this video helpful. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.